NBA domination station late swap tutorial. And guys, uh, in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you not just how to late swap using the domination station optimizer, but also how to late swap a smaller number of lineups than you might have. So one of the things that people generally run into or the, uh, that I've noticed is if you have multiple tournaments that you're involved in, how do you late swap one but not the other? Um, if you leave all of your entries in your upload file, it's going to consider each of those individuals. So I'm going to show you how to separate the contest when you're late swapping. So in this contest tonight, I've entered 150 lineups in one contest and 25 in another contest for the purpose of this demonstration. So the first thing we're going to do is select a slate, call NBA main. We're going to download the template. Now, one of the things I like to do, and this is really important, is name it so that you can find it. So I'm going to call this FD NBA 118. Wait, swap tutorial. Okay, so we know which one it is, right? Now, before I go to the DOM station, I'm going to go to my Google Drive, open this file, and I'm going to show you the process here. So in this case, I'm going to late swap the 150 entries. So on this file, I've got a 25 entry run and a 150 entry run down here. So what I'm going to do is literally delete these, the 25. I'm gonna delete those from the file. That's it, done. Now I'm gonna save this as a CSV and it will automatically save it effectively with the same name doubled. Now we're gonna go to the domination station, grab that file, open. Here we go. Now, on the Domination Station Optimizer here, it shows you which games are already locked, and there's only three games left. I'm going to give it the old refresh. Oh, game statuses here. Let's see. They're as refreshed as can be. If I want to do anything here with the player pool, I can mess with players that are still available. The locked players show as locked and kind of have this darkish gray color. Um, the other thing to note is here in the exposures area, it's going to show you all of our current exposures. Um, the locked players are locked. Nothing, nothing can be done about them. So the only ones that can be changed, and there's not that many that can be changed, but the ones that can be changed, you can see um, in a darker color. Now, the other thing we can do is if we want, we can adjust the max exposure, but I don't recommend that. At this point, if you're late swapping this late, you need to kind of let it be. If there's a player that we know that we really want to get in our lineups, um, something happens, some reason we can smash a love on them or anything like that, or somebody's out, we want to remove them from the player pool. Then we're going to re-optimize the lineups and I'll show you something really cool that it does. And I'll show you how to upload these right back to FanDuel. So here we go. We're running 150 lineups. The optimizer is doing what it's supposed to, changing the lineups a little bit, maybe, or maybe not. And one of the cool things, and it didn't change it too much, but one of the cool things is it shows you the original exposure and then the current exposure. So if I gained a little bit of exposure to a player, down a little bit on a different player for whatever reason, you know, that's what's going on. Now I'm getting some, you know, of this guy and less of that guy or whatever. So it is showing the original and the current exposure here in this box. Added a couple of extra players that I maybe didn't have exposure to. If I'm happy with this, I can download these, save that file. We're going to go right back to FanDuel, open, edit, done. There you go. There you have it. Now, if you try to make extreme cuts, uh, you want to you set a max limit of 30%. There's only three games left. You will probably not be able to make the lineup, so be careful with the adjustments that you make. But there you have it late swapping on FanDuel where you're able to split off one contest from another. Let's say, by the way, one more item here. Let's say we wanted to do these 25. I would do the process again, but remove the 150, leave this other contest and optimize just for that one. So you do them individually, unless you want 170 different, completely unique um, standalone lineups. Um, that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Hope it helps. 
See you guys next time.